It's time to get back on the 83. We made a lot of progress on it last winter. Put the new roof skin on, We've got the bed ready for paint, cab is ready for paint, tenders, doors, they're all ready to be blocked. As it goes, I've done a couple of different projects, an entire truck since I kind of tabled this one. Now we're back, we'll be warming up soon again. This is February, we'll be warming up nice to go ahead and get some paint put on this thing. So in the meantime, I got a few things I want to do to the truck. I shaved the fuel doors on the bed. So I had this fuel cell laying upstairs. I've had it for probably 20 years. It's brand new. You can buy these days, you can buy, you know, Boyd's makes some cells. People make cells that fit these trucks a little better than this one will. But I think with a little work, we can get this in there. That's what people used to do before Boyd's. Um, and it'll look fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got the GM cinder in it. It's actually for a 72 truck that I had at the time and I still have it sitting out behind the shop. But a new fuel cell, 500 bucks. This one's paid for. I say we stick it in there. Now to get it in there, we've got some modifications that are going to have to be made. A couple of different braces that need to be cut out and we'll probably slide this one back if we can. Uh, the truck, not currently, I'm not planning on having a rear bumper so I don't really have to allow for the, the bumper brackets. We've got a roll pan in this bed. Um, but we may look at just sliding this back and reattaching it. And then up here is the spare tire rack. That's got to come out, and it would have to come out no matter what fuel cell you used. So that said, let's get started. So to remove these braces, we've got these factory rivets on both sides. Same thing in the rear rear brace. Take this uh, air hammer and see if we can zip those out. Got him. That's going to be pretty close. The bed floor will be about three quarters of an inch higher than that. This is enough to start kind of laying out some framework. Good. Well, I farted around with this for at least a couple of hours, scratching my head and trying to figure out if I could make do with this or not. It's actually above the, the bottom of the pumpkin, but not by much. And 20 years ago, everybody was pretty used to being able to see the back of their fuel cell. That was normal. Now everything needs to be kind of hidden and tucked up a little better. So I can't make myself do it like this. And you're like, why is the tailgate there? Well, I'm glad you asked because the obvious choice, the obvious answer to further complicating your project is to go nuts. So the solution to getting the gas tank tucked up out of sight is cutting eight inches out of my bed and raising my bed floor eight inches. That'd be pretty dumb just to do for a gas tank. However, the greater goal is to put the large C notch in and get the truck, you know, that would give me room for the, whatever suspension it is, bags or coilovers, but it'll give me a way to get my four link in and that was something I was wanting to do anyway, but I had gone back and forth between just getting the truck together and enjoying it, you know, work on it next winter or do it the way I want it now and it'll be ready. I'm just gonna do it the way I want it now. So fuel tank install is still underway. However, the actual mount is paused and we're over on this. Here we go. Step one, done. Well, as it turns out, that was probably pretty much the worst fuel cell relocation video ever made, seeing as we didn't even do it. A lot of my projects <laughs> go like that. I don't know if yours do or not, but it's too much work to put it together and it not be what I want. So we're going to back up, regroup, and you know, hopefully when we're done, we're happy with the end result. That's part of it. And all amounts my time. So, so it's not that big of a deal. But apologize for misleading you. 
I hope that you'll take a minute, check out some of my other videos, like and subscribe and follow along on this C10 build. It should be coming along pretty quickly here in the spring months, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't always go that way. But thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Catch up with me on whatever I'm working on next. Thank you.